we're gonna do a video and discuss the situation with SOCD. And if you don't know what SOCD is, don't worry, we're gonna talk about it right now. Let's look at what SOCD is. We're gonna pull up Google, type in SOC, oops, CD. You can see some of my history, it's okay. SOCD means simultaneous opposite opposing cardinal directions. Basically, being able to do stuff with a mix box similar to, let's say, like this, right? I have one, I just so happen to have one. You can push back and forward at the same time, right? If I can do it like this, you can do like that. I can go back, forward, instantly block. There's a lot of advantages to the mix box. We're gonna be comparing controllers like this and traditional controllers like the arcade stick. And I'm gonna bring out this dinosaur, but I still love this thing. This cool controller right here, uh, one of my Razor A trucks. You cannot do simultaneous or SOCD because it's a stick. And stick allows you to go up, down, left, right, down, back, up, back, you know, all the diagonals. This has no capability of doing that. Way more fun in my opinion to use this but it unfortunately, it definitely is not as optimal as you would say, uh, even a controller, my 8-bit Doe controller. Um, for people that are complaining that the hitbox and mi mix box are an advantage, they are, but if you are going to, for people that are calling to ban stuff like mix box, hitbox, all that stuff, you understand that the controller has been able to do stuff like perfect charge or perfect flash kick shout out to brian f for pointing this out but you can hold two directions on a, on a on a controller if you hold this direction and then use this analog stick right to push back you're doing socd and there is no software on controllers to stop you from doing this another thing brian f shout out brian f he was talking about Knuckle Dew, a really good Street Fighter V player, and he was Street Fighter 4 too, played uh, Guile and stuff like that. He would do perfect flash kicks and stuff by, you know, playing like this, playing Claw, basically. And he was able to take advantage of those uh, advantages. But now that this comes out, and you can basically do the same thing, but a little bit easier, people are saying it's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. I think it's the future. I think it's innovating we're constantly making new stuff to make it easier to play these extremely difficult games uh, for someone like me trying to get into Tekken uh, learning on stick is cool and all but um, it's just not as optimal to learn on mixbox I feel like on mixbox you're able to learn and execute stuff so much quicker that um, I feel like it's just more Accessible Tekken is more accessible to me when I use something like this right over a controller or a stick Simply because of diagonals as well like down back up back Those are just much easier on a mix box and if you look up videos on how a mix box actually uh, Translates to Tekken it is a very 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 good uh, Tool to have now. I still have my uh, Sanwa stick that you can probably see on my channel that I used it's an amazing stick, I love that stick, but uh, something about the mix box gives me this feeling of like future, um, like just it's the future. You have to get into it or you're going to be left behind. There's plenty of people that like a 16 year old I saw on the main man's channel, main man sweet. He had like a 16 year old playing Kazuya and he was wave dashing faster than anyone's ever wave dashed in their entire life. The guy in the video, the main man sweet, he literally said, "Yo, I'll never be able to do that." So it's not about um, it's not about is it fair or not? Is it uh, well? I guess it is about is it fair? And there is S O D C S O C D cleaning as well. So if you look that up, S O D S O C D simultaneous what simultaneous opposite cardinal directions, and you type in cleaning. <sighs> SOG, okay, mix box. So, yeah, basically, whenever you hold two directions on a mix box, oops, wrong one. When you hold two directions on a mix box, like this, like I showed you previously, and you're trying to do some like perfect charge or something crazy with Guile, right? It will cancel the neutral. So, you'll be punishable if you're playing Street Fighter and you're holding two directions at the same time up, up, down, 
the forward back all that right that will give you neutral and you're gonna get slapped so that's a disadvantage for a mix box or hit box in my opinion I think um, people in general should be able to use whatever controller they want as long as it's not like uh, you're putting on like a, a thing on your head where you just think the move and it happens that should be like a different a whole different bracket of like thinking fighters or something uh, but yeah, controllers have been able to do this for years now. No one said anything till now. Uh, shout out to people in the FGC, including Avoid the Puddle, Brian F, Justin Wong, and the main man Sui for weighing in on this topic. Those are the people I watch the most. I'm so <coughs> sorry if I'm missing any major people. Uh, and this, this, the worst part is that uh, I don't, you know, it's kind of like it's joking, but also not really joking at all. When Avoid the Puddle talks about the mix box, he's very like very sure that this is cheating and that kind of sucks i get it you've been you, he spent his whole life basically not his whole life a good chunk of his life practicing on stick and uh developing his skills um and i i wasn't able to get that experience so now i guess i guess i guess i get where he's coming from but if you want to win does it really matter i don't think it's cheating though i i think it's just optimal way to play but then I guess he would come up with like, if the optimal way to play was with the mind thing and you had to think the move, then why don't you use that? And I was like, oh, well, you know, that's cheating. It's like, I guess. I just think that because controller's been able to do this, why is it so big a deal? Like, why is it such a big deal? Another thing, I, I probably said this already, these controllers, PS4 pads, whatever pad you're using, they don't have this software built in to the device to punish you basically by giving you neutral for doing two inputs like i said knuckle do is doing this in tournaments with my hitbox or mix box i will get neutral i will i will i am not able to hold i'm not able to socd simultaneous opposite cardinal directions i'm not able to do that on a mix box i'm able to have the advantage of quicker inputs like instant while running moves tapping uh if you if if you try to tap three times forward in a game like Tekken where you get uh, for instant wall, instant wall running moves You're gonna be able to do it faster by pushing a button. It's just Just math, right? Just math you time it. It's faster to push a button three times in a row than it is to push a stick with your hand Right three times in a row and let it set back to neutral Just alone just not not even that the motion itself is takes more of your hand but having having to go back to neutral and then push forward again, it's just an it, that's an advantage. But like I said, controllers, you've been able to do that for a long time now. Where you skip neutral, basically. So that's that's basically what I think. Let me make sure there's nothing else I wanted to say. I also want to be a part of a community that's that's able to accept people, for instance, like Brawly Legs who is really cool Chun Li player in Street Fighter uh, 4, still plays Street Fighter 5. He's disabled and he has like a really like badass setup for him to use a controller with his mouth. You know, he uses his mouth and like whole this whole bottom of his head, like his uh, you know, everything in his face muscles are used. Uh, look up Broly Legs on YouTube. It's amazing how that guy's able to play at a tournament level. And um, and yeah, now that there's controllers like this could, that could be even more accessible for people like him, we're not gonna do that because the the legacy guy that's been playing for 20 plus years now thinks it's cheating. And of course he's gonna think it's cheating. He's been growing up in an environment where sticks are the only really source of uh, valid tournament play. And as we can see the video now, everyone has an arcade stick. Everyone's got a Korean lever, right? Knee. This is the champion, Evo champion right here, right? 2022 Evo champion. Matter of fact, if you watch this tournament, he actually loses to uh, the Pakistan Dawoods, who plays Eliza. And that's why I'm kind of playing this. And he's fighting the book right now. Uh, Olsen just came back. The person he was just fighting, Olsen... This guy just came back from the military, which is required in Korea, and he's playing on this much of a competitive level on a stick. And it's because it's most comfortable for him. He's been playing on this for years and years and years. He's comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with stick with Street Fighter, but I feel like I could switch to playing on a mix box just because it's just so much more accessible. There's so much more it, I can execute immediately uh, without much practice compared to my arcade stick. Um, 
So, what I'm trying to say is that I think all controllers should be accepted as long as it is in the realm of, like, pushing buttons and you're not thinking any moves out. I think that's fine. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I think it's completely fair. Other people can buy it. I know it's not as affordable. That's why they have this. Controllers, which also have an advantage with, you know, you can do perfect flash stick and stuff like Knuckle Dude was doing. Um... But yeah, let me, got, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm kind of curious uh, for you, uh, for everyone to weigh in, really, just to let me know how how would you take care of this. Oh, another thing, one last thing. There was, I believe, Brian F. or Justin Wong. Uh, I'm not sure if it was Brian F. or Justin Wong, but one of them uh, had a friend who was contemplating a way to fix this situation would be having... Um, SOCD, which would stop you from pushing two directions at the same time, as well as um, button pri earliest button priority. So the last button, let's say you do um, forward back really quick, like one frame after you, you push forward, and a frame later you push back. The earliest uh, input will override everything else. So the last input you do will always be the input you get. That way it eliminates anybody freaking out about, you know, an advantage because that helps, I guess. I don't know, but that seemed like a good idea. Uh, anyways, hopefully uh, this was somewhat uh, eye-opening for what's going on. SOCD is kind of like a big thing right now in the FGC. People are talking about it. If it's a, a um, how to deal with it, which would be SOCD cleaning, which is installed on my stick, like I said. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't see the problem. I don't know why people are calling it cheating. Uh, just, just let everyone have the ability to play, no matter what the controller, basically. For now, for now. I, I'll probably 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Oh my god, that controller where you just slap it on your head and you just, just say out loud or you think into your head. Do a, um, you know, do a sick combo. Ken, right, Paul? Like no, that that's there's no um, dexterity. I feel like with stick and like mix box, there's still a level of like dexterity dexterity with your hands. You're really every everything you're doing is coming from you and your fingers, and it's not like it's a physical aspect still. Same thing with controller. You know, using your hands. I think it's all all the same. And uh, if someone can win a tournament, or I don't know if you won, or playing a tournament on a Guitar Hero, there was a guy that had a Guitar Hero. Oh no, yeah, there's a guy with a Guitar Hero controller and a driving, like an initial D driving car setup. And he was kicking ass. And no one's complaining about that, so, uh, like, I don't know. I think, I think it's just, I think it's a lot easier and people are just trying to make a big fuss about it. This thing has been out for like four years. And uh, people have been winning tournaments. Super Akuma won a tournament with a hitbox. Um, and he still gets his, his, you know, he still gets beat up by top players with, like, an arcade stick. So, it's all about what you're comfortable with. With the SOCD cleaning for my mix box and hit boxes and stuff, not allowing us to push two directions at the same time, I think it's fair. And it gives uh, some people that are either, that are in a situation where they can't use a regular arcade stick, it's like, maybe it's just easier for them to push you know, a was to key. Everyone's pushed a keyboard before. It's so much more accessible. And if that's easier for someone to play and they're great, great at playing the game, why not let them play the game like that? Why accuse them of being a cheater just because that's how you feel? I don't know. I think it's kind of weird. Uh, I'll, and, and plus, games, like fighting games, are still... Like, a lot of people play them, but not a lot of people are invested as much as like knee or avoid the puddle was. So I think a great way to make it so that it's a bigger thing and more people are playing fighting games is to allow different controllers like Mixbox and Hitbox. Uh, let's see how accessible we can make it without it being obviously like no effort uh, with the with the motions. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess I guess I like my Mixbox. I spent a lot of money on getting this thing. And I think I should be able to use it in tournament or in a professional setting. Um, yeah, so shout out Avoid the Puddle, Knee, congrats on winning the champ, Evo uh, Tekken Championship. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know, like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Or 
just plain and simple, you better like and subscribe or I will find you and give you the biggest hug you've ever had to the point where you'll make a separate account to sub to my channel because of how much of a good hug that was. Anyways, long story short, I am kind of a good hugger. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure, please leave at least one comment. Let me know what people think. I don't know. I don't think it's cheating. What do you think? You, maybe you do think it's cheating and you have a friend that beats you up because he has a mix box and a hit box and he's, he all of a sudden got super good because he's cheating. Quote unquote cheating. All right. That's it for me. <clears throat> I used to do something like that. Try to make an outro. Bye guys. Oh, ah!